What is up everybody? Ray Davenport, your director of athletics here. And today I want to take you through a quick routine that you can do in the morning laying in bed. So it should get you ready to start your day, feel a little bit better before you take those first steps. So the first movement we're going to start with uh, in this flat position, you've just woken up. We're going to do some pelvic tilts. So we're going to walk our feet just closer to our seat. And then we're going to find that flat back position. Take a big inhale and allow that pelvis to tilt forward. Exhale, you're gonna flatten it out. So imagine you've got a bucket, you're turning that bucket up and then you're dumping that bucket out. So as you inhale, right, create that space. Exhale, pull that belly button in and just feel your abdominals starting to work and wake up. We're gonna do anywhere from eight to 20 repetitions here. You can always put those hands at your side for a little bit of support. Good, and relax. So the next one we're gonna do to get the core working just a little bit is a dead bug march. Um, again, you can do this from bed. All you're gonna do is bring those knees up over your hips. Hands can be at the side to create a little support. Again, we're not working really hard to start the day, just getting everything uh, kind of shaking the dust off. So as, as we go through this one, you're gonna inhale as you lower your heel and exhale, pull back in. Inhale and exhale, pull back in. The longer I go with this step, the harder it's gonna be. Keep in mind, you just woke up, so take it nice and easy. This is just to activate. And relaxing down. All right, next up, get those hips working. So legs are still bent. We're gonna cross one leg over. Now from here, there are two things we can do. We can either drop the hips out to the side, if that's comfortable for you, just making sure that those shoulders stay flat on the ground. You're gonna feel a really nice stretch in that hip, or you can reach through and pull that leg in, okay? Either way, target is the outside of the hip. We're just gonna hold this for about five deep breaths. Always a good idea to just count your exhales. Don't worry about the clock. And relaxing down, of course, you'll wanna repeat that for both sides. All right, so next up, we're gonna do a thoracic spine opener. So just roll onto your side. You should have a pillow supporting your head at this point. We're gonna take those knees up to uh, about waist height and hands are straight out in front. From here, I'm just gonna open up. Now you may wanna make sure that if you share a bed that you don't do this one until the other person is up and awake. <laughs> make sure you've got plenty of clearance here as we open up one arm, trying to keep this knee down. Certainly if I needed to, I could hold this knee as I open up, right? Just keep the hips in position and then coming back to start, okay? Should feel a nice release in the chest. Uh, and also just start to activate those back muscles, okay? Repeat on the other side and we'll be ready to come up into our next position. Next up is the hamstring and there are two ways that we can do this. We can either use a strap to pull that leg up, right? If you have a belt or something like that, or you can come up to that seated position as we start to get ready to get up out of the bed for the first time. And we can just pull or push our chest forward as we lean. Now I encourage you not to reach too much because we don't need to get that stretch in the upper back, but just gently press yourself forward. Now the belter strap would still come in handy here as we stretch out both hamstrings, but the key is to take a deep breath, keep that full chest and hinge from the waist. All right, now we're ready to start working our way closer to that standing position. But first, let's come to the edge of the bed and we're gonna work on our uh, T-spine again. So taking a big deep breath, we're gonna lift those arms up and just allow our back to stretch 
and then relax, exhale. Inhale, reach tall. We're only gonna do about five reps, but should start to feel the upper back as we stretch and reach and relax. Moving into our side bend. Again, for those that have been to my class, you know we like to do this in a standing position before we go into our exercise. But for today, remember this is just to get us warmed up to start moving, not necessarily work out. And relaxing down. So hopefully that quick series of movements will make starting your day just a little bit easier and those first steps just a little bit better. If you have any questions on anything that we did today, feel free to reach out to me. Happy to help however I can.